Assalamu alaikum dear students. Welcome to Dr. Rumi lectures. In our previous session, we studied the physiology of pain and the differences between fast and slow pain pathways. Today we are going to study the analgesia system, which is body's inbuilt natural pain suppression system. There is variability in different person's reaction to pain. Some people are more sensitive to pain and some are less sensitive. And one of the reasons behind that is the over and under activity of this analgesia system. This body's natural pain control mechanism suppresses excessive pain. For example, in athletes who may be hurt during various athletic activities, in soldiers who may be hurt and also in the victims of accidents. In our somatosensory pathways, not only the signals are going from down upwards, but there is also centrifugal control for all the somatosensory signals. For example, touch, proprioception, just like that, very important centrifugal signals are also sent from higher centers of the brain downwards towards the spinal cord to control the pain signals which are entering from the periphery and going to the brain. Analgesia system is made by the centrifugal signals which are coming from the higher centers like from the hypothalamus and brainstem downwards towards the spinal cord and control the pain entry signals at the level of spinal cord. There are three important components of the pain analgesia system of our body. One is the periaqueductal gray matter which is present around the aqueduct of Sylvius and also the periventricular gray matter which is present in the third ventricle of brain close to the hypothalamus. These two nuclei, they release neurotransmitter which is encephaline. The encephaline neurotransmitter that is released on the neurons which are present in another nucleus called as nucleus raphe magnus. This nucleus raphe magnus is a thin midline nucleus which is present in the lower pons and upper medulla. The second order neurons start from here and they descend downwards. These are serotonergic neurons which act upon the interneurons which are present in the dorsal gray horn of spinal cord. The third order neurons are then in the interneurons of dorsal gray horn of spinal cord. These neurons they release encephaline once again and they have inhibitory effect on the afferent pain nerve fibers which are type C and A delta nerve fibers. Another nucleus, nucleus reticularis paragigantocellularis is also present on the lateral sides of medulla, is also part of the analgesia system. It has been observed that the electrical stimulation in the periaqueductal nucleus and the nucleus raphe magnus, it causes extensive pain suppression in the body. And the important neurotransmitters involved in this analgesia system are encephaline and serotonin. Encephaline is the neurotransmitter which is released by the neurons in the periaqueductal nucleus and the nerve fibers which are present here in the periaqueductal gray matter. These nerve fibers then they stimulate the neurons in the nucleus raphe magnus which releases a serotonin. These are very important MCQs. And the nerve fibers which are present here in the dorsal gray horn of spinal cord they are inhibitory interneurons they also release another inhibitory neuron which is encephaline the encephaline which is released from the interneurons it causes presynaptic and postsynaptic inhibition of these nerve fibers and then the transmission of pain signals along the spinothalamic pathway will be suppressed i will explain you this concept through another diagram Let's suppose this is an afferent pain nerve fiber which detects noxious pain stimulus detected by its nerve endings which are free nerve endings. This afferent pain nerve fiber in the dorsal gray horn of spinal cord it releases substance P then substance P stimulates the interneurons and then the interneurons stimulate uh, the second order neurons which take signals to the thalamus and then to cerebral cortex. This is an ascending pathway. We also have descending pathway which is analgesia system of the body and that suppresses the signals which are going from the periphery towards the brain at the entry level in the spinal cord. 
you can see here the signals which are coming from the periventricular nucleus of the hypothalamus and also from the periaqueductal gray matter of the midbrain it releases encephaline neurotransmitter and that stimulates the nuclei which are present in pons lower pons and upper medulla which is uh, raphe magnus nucleus and also nucleus reticularis paragigantocellularis which is present on the lateral side of medulla the signals from here they stimulate the neurons which are present in the dorsal gray horn of spinal cord the nerve fibers of nucleus raphe magnus release serotonin at its endings and this stimulates the inhibitory interneurons in the dorsal gray horn of spinal cord this releases encephaline at its nerve endings you can see here this is the inhibitory interneuron in the dorsal gray horn of spinal cord which releases encephaline encephaline is an endogenous opioid substance and this has negative effect you can see here the negative sign this has an inhibitory effect on the presynaptic endings of this pain nerve fiber which is type a delta and type c nerve fiber then the release of the pain transmitters like substance p and the glutamate that will be suppressed if there is no release of substance p then the signals to the thalamus it will be suppressed it means the excitatory interneurons will be suppressed and the signals along the second order neurons will not go to the thalamus in this way the pain signals at the entry level of spinal cord they will be suppressed by the retrograde signals by the centrifugal signals which are coming along this pain suppression system or natural analgesic system to control the pain signals which are going to our brain please keep in mind this encephaline which is released by the inhibitory interneurons in the dorsal gray horn of spinal cord this not only suppresses the presynaptic nerve fibers but also postsynaptic nerve fibers the presynaptic nerve fiber decreases the release of substance p and the effect on postsynaptic nerve fiber is that it produces ipsp which is inhibitory post synaptic potential in this way the inhibitory effect of encephaline is seen and transmission of pain signals is decreased there are different types of receptors of opioid chemicals like encephaline but the most important receptor is mu receptor which is present here on the presynaptic and postsynaptic nerve fibers in the dorsal horn of spinal cord this analgesia system can suppress all those local spinal cord reflexes which result from the pain signals for example the withdrawal reflex like if you have a, a pin prick or acute burn then you quickly withdraw your hand so this kind of withdrawal reflexes will be suppressed by the analgesia system because these reflexes result from the pain signals body's natural opiate system was discovered about half century ago during research it was found that injection of morphine which is a chemical derived from opium flower has profound analgesic effects injection of this chemical morphine in the periaqueductal area and the periventricular area resulted in profound pain suppression later on it was found that same morphine can also result in pain suppression when it is injected in the dorsal gray horn of spinal cord so it was assumed that as the inhibition of pain signals may be because of inhibition of some neurons and the neurons they are inhibited when some inhibitory neurotransmitters act on their receptors so there must be some receptors related to this morphine like chemicals in our body because our body cannot have this kind of receptors just to be acted upon by the chemical coming from the opium flower we must have some chemicals inside of our body which uses these uh, opiate receptors so later on through extensive research it was found that yes we have about a dozen of opiate like substances in our body which can be called as endogenous opiate which are peptides in nature these opioid like molecules are derived from three larger molecules which can be called as pomc pro opio melanocortin pro encephaline and pro dynorphine the most important opioid like substances present in our body which can suppress the pain are 
ल्यू एनकेफालीन मेट एनकेफालीन बीटा एंडोरफिन एंड डाइनोरफिन आई हैव ऑलरेडी मैंशनड द एनकेफालीन इज रिलीज बाय दीज न्यूरोन्स विच आर द न्यूरोन्स इन द पेरी वेंटिकुलर न्यूक्लियस द न्यूरोन्स ऑफ पेरी एक्विडक्टल ग्रे मैटर द रिलीज एनकेफालीन एंड द न्यूरोन्स हियर इन द डॉट्स ऑफ ग्रे हॉर्न ऑफ स्पाइनल कॉर्ड ऑल्सो रिलीज एनकेफालीन वेर एवर एनकेफालीन इज रिलीज इन अवर नर्वस सिस्टम द डाइनोरफिन इज ऑल्सो रिलीज बट इन माइन्यूट क्वान्टिटीज बीटा एंड डॉर्फिन इज रिलीज इन हाइपोथैलमस एंड इन पिच्यूटरी ग्लैंड द एनर्जीजिया can be produced not only by the endogenous opioid like substances but also by some non opioid substances and if you have to see whether this analgesia is produced by opioids or by non opioid substances for that we use an antagonist substance which is naloxone naloxone because it antagonizes the action of natural opioids by blocking that it can tell us whether this analgesia is produced by the natural opioids or by the non opioid molecules some non opioid molecules which can produce analgesia are pain suppression are serotonin epinephrine and norepinephrine this is why some antidepressant drugs which increase the effect of serotonin epinephrine and norepinephrine in our body can also show pain suppression or pain killer effect sometimes it may be confusing concept for students that uh, the encephaline natural opioid is an inhibitory substance so how come by inhibition it can suppress uh, the inhibitory interneurons and then can it produce pain suppression effect there is an hypothesis which explains this concept that in our brain stem especially in pons and medulla there is tonic inhibitory effect on these neurons like uh, raffi magnus nucleus nucleus reticularis para gigantocellularis so this encephaline which has inhibitory effect on these uh, already inhibited neurons the net effect is disinhibition or inhibition or inhibition can cause excitation so this is why you can see here that the encephaline neurons coming from the periaqueductal gray and periventricular nucleus it causes the excitation of the raffi magnus nucleus and that excitation it brings signal to the inhibitory interneurons of dorsal horn of spinal cord which then releases uh, encephaline and that further inhibits the release of uh, substance p by acting on the presynaptic uh, pain nerve fibers it also acts on the new receptors and on the postsynaptic nerve fibers so some interneurons which are already excitatory in nature they will be suppressed and then the second order neurons cannot take the pain signals to the thalamus and then to the cerebral cortex there are some factors which modulate the effect of analgesia system and those important factors are exercise stress and acupuncture exercise especially the strenuous one increases the production of beta endorphins in our body this is euphoria which makes some people to love gyms and to do exercise regularly similarly stress also increases the production of uh, opioid like substances cortisol epinephrine and norepinephrine in our body which all have pain killer effect acupuncture is a chinese way of treatment to decrease the pain signals in our body in acupuncture fine needles are inserted and manipulated at certain places of the body what does it do it increases the production of opioid like substances in our body and also it causes the stimulation of tactile nerve fibers tactile nerve fibers when they are stimulated along with pain signals they will do lateral inhibition of the pain nerve fibers and in this way pain signals will be decreased and their transmission from the periphery to the brain will be decreased here i would like to explain you the pain gate theory or pain control theory sometimes when we are having pain we rub on the area where we are having pain and that rubbing simply are uh, using some oil can decrease the pain signals what happens that rubbing sends tactile signals and when the tactile nerve fibers which are type a beta nerve fibers they also take the signals of touch to the dorsal horn of spinal cord there is lateral inhibition of the interneurons there are collaterals which are going from the tactile nerve fibers to the interneurons in the spinal cord and those interneurons they are inhibited and in this way the signals going from the 
dorsal horn or spinal cord upward towards the thalamus they will be suppressed so in this way there is gating or uh, the gate will be closed and the pain signal from the periphery going upward will be suppressed so just to summarize this analgesia system is body's natural pain control mechanism and this consists of centrifugal nerve signals which are coming from the brain stem downwards to the dorsal gray horn of spinal cord some important neurotransmitters involved here are encephaline which is an opiate substance you must know that encephaline has both presynaptic as well as postsynaptic effects it has inhibitory effect on the presynaptic nerve fibers and on the postsynaptic nerve fibers and the most important receptor for opiate like substances is mu receptor some other non opioid substances which can kill pain in our body are serotonin epinephrine norepinephrine and cortisol you must know the important centers are nuclei which are components of the natural analgesia system these include the peri ventricular nucleus peri aqueductal nucleus raphe magnus nucleus and the dorsal gray horn of spinal cord you must know that the natural analgesia system can suppress those spinal cord reflexes which are activated in response to pain like the withdrawal reflexes and i hope you understand why being involved in strenuous physical activities increases your ability to withstand pain signals because it increases the production of opiate like substances in our body and that gives you euphoria moreover being in stressful activities like during athletic performance there is also increase in the analgesia or pain suppression effect in our body because during stressful activities there is production of opiate like substances and cortisol hormone in our body moreover the chinese treatment therapy acupuncture also increases the production of opiate like substances in our body it also stimulates the tactile nerve fibers which have lateral inhibitory effect on the pain nerve fibers which are a delta and type c fibers in the dorsal gray horn of spinal cord so the pain gate theory explains that when along with pain simultaneously the tactile nerve fibers for example during rubbing are stimulated these a beta nerve fibers send collaterals and they stimulate some inhibitory interneurons which inhibit the pain signals which are ascending from the spinal cord upward to the thalamus so this analgesia system is very interesting and especially the opioid like substances which are very powerful pain killers are very important part of treatment to control the severe pain this is a very important exam question i hope you must have enjoyed it thank you so much for watching this video see you next time with another video